Hi, welcome to Three Things Thursday with Robert Hertel. So tomorrow is St. Patrick's Day, so before I start, I'd like to wish you all a happy St. Patrick's Day. Go out there, have some fun, enjoy it with your family and friends, make sure that you don't do anything that gets you in trouble, okay? Be safe out there, but most importantly, have some fun, enjoy the St. Patrick's Day holiday with some green beer, corned beef and cabbage, and all the other wonderful festive things that come with the holiday. So I hope you enjoy that. Now, for Three Things Thursday, I thought we'd play on that theme and use Irish proverbs that can be translated for salespeople to help them in their business. Now, the Irish, we have all kinds of proverbs, some wonderful sayings, and so I picked out a few that I thought would be perfect for salespeople to implement in their business, okay? So we'll have some fun with this and, you know, see where it goes, all okay? right? So here we go, Irish proverbs that can help salespeople in their business. So Irish proverb number one, it is often that a person's mouth broke his nose. Now, I like this one because it's funny, and two, it can actually be used for sales. There's a lot of truth in it. Now, sales is probably not what they were referring to when they wrote this, okay? But we can still utilize that. So think about this. It is often that a person's mouth broke his nose. So in sales, where is that relevant? Have you ever, ever had a situation where you've talked yourself out of a sale? You've closed the deal. They like you, they wanna work with you, but you don't shut up and just close it? You just keep talking and talking and talking. Why? Because we're salespeople. That's just the way it works. And we talk ourselves right out of the sale, okay? It was our mouth that broke our nose. Or how about this? We don't really know what we're talking about, but we want to seem like we do, so we just start spitting all kinds of crazy things. We come across as dishonest, a liar, disinterested, whatever word you want to use, that's how we come across, and we've lost those people now, okay? Again, our mouth that broke our nose. Or how about this situation? We keep telling people, tell the client, tell the client, tell the client, instead of really listening to what they're saying, digging into their motivation, letting them do all the talking, but we can't help ourselves. We keep telling and telling and telling, and then we lose them. Again, it was our mouth that broke our nose. So, utilize that proverb. Think about that. It is often a person's mouth that broke his nose. We have that issue when it comes to sales. We need to stop doing that and that'll help us moving forward in our career, okay? So, limit the mouth. Perfect. All right, Irish proverb number two. Lose an hour in the morning and you'll be looking for it all day. We've talked about this before, we talk about it all the time. The morning is the most important part of your day, especially when you're in sales. You have to have an impactful morning. Get up, high energy, high enthusiasm, full of positivity, Nutritional breakfast, workout, get some energy going, positive affirmations, reading positive thoughts, positive videos, get away from the news and all that negativity and all those things. Get up and get going part for part of your day. If you do that, you can have a successful day. If you don't, you'll be lagging all day, all right? Exactly what it says here. Perfect proverb for that situation. Lose an hour in the morning, you'll be looking for it all day. Right? You lose that energy, positivity, enthusiasm in the morning, all day long you'll be looking for it, trying to get it back. Mornings, most important part of your day, we have to make sure we create that system for our mornings so we are always impactful for our days. All right? So I thought that was actually really good and we need to utilize that. Irish proverb number three, if you come up in this world, be sure not to go down in the next. Now I thought of Neil Schwartz immediately when I heard this one because Neil talks about the appointment dance, right? People get appointments and then they do their dance, right? They go around, they high five people, they go to the water cooler telling people, they're all high and mighty, then they start working on it, the next day they're still talking about it, the next day about that they're talking about what they're gonna do with it and all these other different things and how they're gonna go about it. A week later they finally go on the appointment, hopefully they got it, and then they get a sale and then after that they're like, oh wait, I didn't do any of the activities for the last month that I did to get this one, so what do I do now? So you came up and then you went down, all right? So we can't do that. Another way to think of this, I know Mike Ferry talks about this, is start every day at zero, okay? You have a powerful day, big sales, make a bunch of money, you're on top of the world. You came up in this world. Next day, you gotta stay on top of that world, you gotta start at zero. Otherwise, most people come on top and then they're disappeared for six months and they're just going down. And they're like, oh, I lost all my money, what do I do? 
Start every day at zero. Don't do the appointment dance, okay? You have to keep the momentum going. Stay positive. Keep working. Keep at it. The things that got you that success, you have to keep doing to get more success and stay on top of it. So I thought this was really good. Thought of Neil right away. If you come up in this world, be sure not to go down in the next. All right? So absolutely true. So those are three proverbs that we can utilize in our business to help us be more successful. So if you have other proverbs that you think would be helpful for sales, please send them our way. I'd love to hear about them. Maybe put them on a different video. I think that'd be great. In the meantime, I hope you have a wonderful week. I hope you have a fantastic St. Patrick's Day. And I leave you with this, a Irish toast. Here's to a long life and a merry one, a quick death and an easy one, a pretty girl and an honest one, a cold pint and another one. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Have a great week. I look forward to speaking to you again next week.